Super excited for today's episode. In our private Facebook group, we got to interview Anna Andrea. She's a mini chat agency partner and a course creator, and she dropped some nuggets about conversational messenger bots. So guys, cue up the theme music. The fact of the matter is, whether you've been in network marketing for years or just a few days, your family and friends have seen your opportunity and your phone is, as we call it, burnt. If you're anything like me, that's a scary thought. So the big question is, how do entrepreneurs like us, who love the network marketing profession, who no longer want to be that guy and are tired of convincing people during uncomfortable let's get coffee meetings where they say, what's this all about? How do we market in a way that aligns us with our dream clients and expands our network of upfront and transparent professionals, allowing us to get our time back, our families back, and gain a real passive asset. People like us who value impact over income, we deserve to see our visions once and for all. Join me in this podcast where we'll uncover just how to do that. My name is Eric Sablon. Welcome to Burnt Phone Marketing. No problem. No problem at all. It's all true. So I actually just kind of wanted to start off. So I don't know if a lot of everybody kind of knows who you are and, and what you've done, but a little bit about the, the course creation that you've done in the last, <coughs> I don't know, year. Um, Cause I, I know, I know we talked a while back on an interview about some of the course creation that you've <coughs> done and then some of the things that you you're doing with uh, some network marketers. Cause I got some network marketing questions for you. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so I am a second network, uh, second generation network marketer. I grew up with network marketing since I was seven years old, and I was forced into the industry. <laughs> That's the truth. My mom can totally uh, like uh, back me up on that one. She forced me into joining MLM, and that's where I fell in love with leadership and marketing. Um, I fell in love with that. And as I came back from studying, uh, in Argentina, I went uh, to go get a degree, like event planning degree. I was overweight and I joined network marketing all by myself now. <laughs> so basically my parents became my downlines after me being their uplines all their life, <laughs> me, them being my uplines. Um, and I started, um, digital marketing searching for a way to not annoy my friends and family. Mm. That's where I started because I hated the list. I hated the fact that I, they made you go and tell your family and tell your friends because your family and friends don't care. <laughs> so that's the truth. Okay. I'm sorry that I say it like that, but it's the cold hard truth. And with me, it's always going to be um, truth city. So, um, my, some of my friends say I'm too, I'm too blunt, but, um, some people just can't hear the truth. So, um, I didn't, uh, really like the, the growing, the, the team aspect of MLM, but I did love the marketing side of it. And that's how I actually, um, started creating, um, funnels and promoting online and then. From there, I saw that they were teaching marketing strategies that I really liked. Event planning is part of a mar it's part of marketing, and I have a degree on that. So I was like, I know what they're talking about. So I just decided to do a course live. I've never pre-recorded a course before I sell it. Mm. Never, and that's a waste of your time because you don't know if it's gonna sell. So you gotta sell a course first. Before you do it, <laughs> that's a major, uh, like, uh, no, no. Mic, mic drop or whatever, right? <laughs> because when I heard that, I was like, okay, I could do a course. Mm -hmm. I could do a course. I could teach people how to do social media. And since uh, my MLM is, um, I'm, a, I'm still affiliated to it because I love the products. I drink them every day. Um, but I'm not building a team because I prefer to, uh, move into the digital marketing space and, uh, help coaches with their attraction marketing. And I have actually a course in Spanish that's all for MLMers to learn how to do attraction marketing instead of following the list. 
-hmm. and annoying people and spamming people online. So basically, I started teaching content marketing to network marketers in Spanish. Um, fortunately, I don't have anything in English, though. Uh, so um, for English, I, I struggled to decide what I was going to what I was going to create because mm -hmm. there's so much offers online of everybody's doing the same. Mm -hmm. And for me to decide to do the summit, for example, um, I was actually a little bit pushed by my Facebook ads coach. She was like, Anna, you're a natural, you're an agency partner. This is what you should be teaching right now. And then just add the other stuff that you like to teach as well. And that's how I just launched my seven week program to teach coaches, at, <clears throat> I'm sorry, how to design their irresistible experiences online. Because in marketing, the thing that was missing that I saw that was missing as well, because you got to go and look your, for your target market, right? And create your blue ocean, like um, the click funnel guys say, <laughs> right? It, it's, it's very true. You got to find like a niche, right? And to create a course, you really need to niche down. Um, with a small list, last time I made twelve hundred dollars. A wow. very small list, like less than two hundred people. And I wouldn't have been able. I, I didn't do that before because I, I struggled. I, I have had courses that I haven't sold in English, so that's why I went to Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, I just decided that you know it was the time. For me to come and teach the the coaches how to use chatbots because I was looking at all of my peers and my friends, like putting them on a on a drawer and like getting saying no, I don't need a chatbot, no, it's not necessary, no, um, the rules are too complicated, and uh, big accounts are getting shut down. Did you hear that some accounts got shut down mm -hmm. <laughs> recently? And it's like, oops, big, big, big accounts because they're not following the rules. And I was like, I've been doing this for my courses in Spanish. So that's how I transitioned into, into starting to teach this. And I've been having so much fun that I'm gonna keep doing it, basically. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. I, I actually went and watched your last YouTube, one of your YouTube videos, and you talked about um, a qualifying bot. Um, and, and this is a network marketing group. So oh, yeah. can you kind of go dive, dive deep, dive a little deep into how important a qualifying bot is? Cause you just talked about how you don't like to do the list. And I think the yes, qualifying yes, yes. bot is definitely what you've done to eliminate yes. that. Okay. So yeah, let me go backtrack to network marketing. So what did I do? Um, I actually used chatbots the first time for, for network marketing. Um, I created a bot where I asked questions about people, where they're at, what they want to achieve because it was weight loss. Mm -hmm. So I even asked them like how much, how, how much you weight, uh, very, very personal questions that people will rather answer to a bot than to a person. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's super powerful because when you qualify people inside the bot, they already gave you all the information. So once you get them to, to the end of the funnel in the bot, so you can close them because you have to have uh, the automation element with the human element in this case, when you're doing the qualifying bot, because after they've answered the questions, right? Uh, you could either send them to, you can send them to buy whatever they need. It's super personalized. And if they need more help, you can jump in and get on a call with them so you can close them over the phone. So it just depends, you know, if they need more help, if some, are, some people are just not technology savvy. So, but if they're answering their questions and they're willing, that's a very good quality lead because it's actually taking the time to answer the questions that they received. So that's how powerful it is uh, to use it when you are promoting something, anything, a course, a MLM product, a, it, it really applies to any industry. Right. You can ask questions, right, before you get them into a call. And even, even then, you don't have to even get them on a call. You could just send them directly to either join or to, or to buy. Right. I created this this uh, this bot flows for someone in my in my company. Uh, 
we created two types, right? One for products and one for uh, people who are interested in the business. Mm -hmm. So w you have to um, map it out, but ask the questions that, that the, the questions that you would ask on a one-on-one, -on -one, you can ask them through the bot. Mm -hmm. And then they can choose what path to take, right? And what, what package to buy or if they need a phone call before they buy. Some people don't even need you on the phone for them to buy. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those, like it, you cannot recruit me. I'm gonna go look for the answer and if I like it, I'll buy it. I don't even need to get anybody on the phone. And I know there's a lot of people like me. Yes. That hate, I hate people pitching me on my on messenger, but if I, I want something and need something, I'm gonna go online, I'm gonna look for it. And this is the benefit of creating um, content online for, especially for network marketers that has nothing to do with the MLM because people are gonna find you online. And if you're not online, your competition is. Mm. So the leads are going to your competition. That's the biggest problem. If, it, if, if people are like still going down the rabbit hole of you know friends and family or your Facebook friends, they're not even your friends, but you're like, hey, can you like my fan page that, no. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that with the bot you know you could just uh create content that's valuable and get people to to join that right uh, you invite people to the webinar and you tell them to go through the bot and then you follow up on them right and then you close them inside and some of these things can be done while you're sleeping and that's real leverage mm -hmm. all the other stuff that they sell you that's leverage that's not leverage it's never leverage because trusting human beings is faulty <laughs> <laughs> It's the truth. Human beings leave. Eric, how many times, I cannot tell you how many times that uh, my parents have restarted an MLM or a, or a team. Mm -hmm. Whew, we got, we got, a, we got a exhausted because they were doing it one by one. Mm -hmm. They didn't let me help them with online mm -hmm. marketing strategies. <laughs> they were fed up already. So don't get fed up because it's a, it's a, it's a good way to make income. Mm -hmm. You just have to find a way to actually have leverage so you don't burn out because right. that's what happens like the big the big elite the the small percentage they never stop working they're hustling 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 all day and i don't think that a lot of people want that kind of lifestyle no. and that and and they look up to them and then they say oh my gosh that's so exhausting and that's then like, bots uh, gives you so much freedom yeah, it does. And, and uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of bots and letting people go through there and seeing where they are. Actually, there's a, a lady on here. Um, she's on the live right now. Her name is Marlo. And she we just did a bot for her. And literally, her bot has just been going. So I, I challenged her. I said, do me a favor. Um, get 100 people to get through your bot so that way we can figure out, you know, where people are, are having issues. or where Right. Are you got to break it. it. Yeah, you got you to gotta break it. You got to bring people through the bot to break it. So um, I want to, yeah. a couple of people were asking, you know, because you, you do bots for network marketing, when we did a chat a long time ago, you talked yeah. about how, how email is one way and how messenger bots <laughs> two way. Yes. Um, you really got to like think about a two way communication versus all one way. Can you kind of elaborate on that for, for the audience? Because some people are like, I don't like bots because it feels so robotic. robotic. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Um, let's see. First of all, stop with the lies. You do like robots. You're using one on your phone right now. <laughs> like, stop lying. <laughs> um, and then second of all, um, bots are more personalized than email. Bots mm -hmm. are even more personalized. Well, it's not that they are personalized. You can make them personalized. This is where people like miss the mark. Something, some bots are going to be so robotic because either they don't have artificial intelligence, they just built it and they're trying to figure out, which is Eric just said, they're trying to figure out what you're going to be asking them uh, so they can become smarter because the bot is as smart as the builder. Mm -hmm. and humans are behind technology so if you um 
create a conversation, right? Because I, I want to go back to, to your question, like the two-way the two way thing. Um, we are used to telling people things. Tell, 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 tell. I'll tell you how good this is. This is so good. You need it now because there's so many people that are dying because blah, 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 right? And you need to eat green because blah, 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 right? Or <laughs> you need to invest on them, uh, whatever, right? Whatever it is, you're just telling, 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 and people don't care. You got to show them. You got to entertain them. You got to nurture them. You got to build rapport. And email is not going to, uh, email will help you. Okay, so I just hear Diane Hawkman in my head right now. Wait. Email will help you with building rapport. That is absolutely true. She can show you how. Um, she's like the master at it. But it's a one-way communication. She's mm -hmm. just telling her story. She's still just telling her story. She encourages you to reply. But you can reply once and reply back and that's it. With Messenger, you need... You're asking questions, you are investigating, you are drilling for needs. Ooh, when you're drilling for needs, you personalize the bot because they have so it's like it's like an octopus, but it's more than an octopus because it has more than eight tentacles. That's why the Manny Chat logo is like an octopus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it, it has so many so many ways that the bot can that the person can go through the customer journey, and can take and can take the load of the human resources that you have. Use humans for better things. We are smarter. We are creative. We are the ones behind the technology. So we leave the pesky stuff for that for, for the bot, and the bot can build rapport and do a um, can even feel empathy. If you make the bot empathetic with the words that you use, it's all about the words that you use, the pictures that you use. The emojis, the messaging, the how you talk to people, that they're going to love the bot. I have people that adore my bots because they're like, oh, my God, Anna, it's so funny. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I know, because I'm funny. <laughs> so the bot has to be funny, right? So you create the bot with your personalization, and it's as if an assistant talking for you. Mm. And... That way you, you, you build trust. Email with the tell, 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 you can build trust, but I think it takes way longer. And you got to email like every day, mm -hmm. all, like all every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day for it to stick. Right. With chatbots, I think that you can build rapport faster and personalize it in a way that takes people through and that's why I call it building an irresistible experience mm -hmm. because you're taking the person from cold and sad and depressed or whatever their state of mind is into a happy state where you give them the solution and if you do it right the customer journey inside the inside your communication because you're going to use email in the middle you're going to use sms in the middle like email is is still you got to tell, you can not only just show, but mm -hmm. we do it backwards. We do it like tell, tell 80% and show 20% and it's backwards. It's 80% show, entertain, nurture, build rapport, qualify, and then 20% uh, tells, do masculine energy, right? Like go by. <laughs> and then 80% feminine energy. I'm going to talk about this because I've been learning so much about it. And it's so true, right? Um, when we're nurturing and we're creating this, this atmosphere, people feel that they can trust you. Mm. I think that's uh, video and bots like, are like the two most powerful tools right now, I think, that will take your business to another level. Video, we know that we kind of fell in love with celebrities while they watch videos, while we watch their movies, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my God, I love Liam Hemsworth. Hem Hemsworth, I never know how to say it. But do you know Liam Hemsworth? No, right? But you love him. So that's the power of video. 
same with the power of chatbots, right? You never had a conversation so cool with a bot that you went and shared it. I have. Oh my God, this is such a cool bot. It's a game. Hey, have you played that game? There's bots that are games, actually. You could create just games, drinking game bots. There, there's so many stuff that you could do. And that's the entertainment side. That's, that's yeah. the entertainment side. So, and, and with a lot of, uh, you know, us, us in network marketing, we're, we're thinking sale, 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 sale. But I love what you said there. You talked about an irresistible offer. You talked about being irresistible journey. You talked about um, putting the customer in empathy so they understand. Empathy. I mean, you know, people buy, buy on emotion and then they buy on emotion. So if you making them, them feel something, make them feel. There you go. There <laughs> yes. You go. Yeah. That that's that's a big one. So I have a question here that um, I wanted to ask you. It says, um, "What decision or decisions can, decisions can listeners make that will lead to faster results in their business using messenger marketing?" Okay, so I'm gonna go very basic first. Okay. Um, and I know I, and we all marketers sound like a broken record with this, but you have to know who you're talking to, your target market. You're not going to talk to a mom that's leave, having her kids that are adults the same way you're going to talk to a dad that just had their first baby. It's just a broad example. You cannot talk to a kid the way you talk to a teenager. You cannot talk to a millennial the way you talk to a senior. Mm -mm, you cannot talk to a boomer the way you talk to a millennial. Holy crap. No, you cannot. <laughs> they will get offended. You know what I'm saying? So you got to know who you're talking to because the key of messenger, com it's conversations. Mm -hmm. The key here is we need to know the language that we're going to use. Mm -hmm. um, same as if, you know, we might be speaking English, but when it comes to uh, messaging and positioning, we might be having two different ideas, right? And confused minds don't buy. Mm. So we have to talk to only one person. First of all, we talk to only one person because that's only one person that's reading the message. It's the same advice as video, but people say, hey guys, but it's not really, hey guys. It's like, hi, you, that you're watching. <laughs> same with the messages. We have to personalize it as a, a first person, right? We've got to talk in first person. We got to know who we're talking to and never leave your voice. Never lower your voice or never like dim your light to please people. Mm. That's not your, that's not, that's not what you're here for. You're here for a message and to provide that message to the people who are seeking you. The rest don't, they don't, doesn't matter really, honestly, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. That sounds very selfish, but we have to know the target. And once we know the target and who we're talking to, like I wouldn't talk the same way to doctors, the way I talk to marketers. Right. Because most of the doctors that you're going to find their personality is very phlegmatic. They are very melancholic and phlegmatic because they have to be very into detail, right? Mm -hmm. Market, most marketers were extroverts, most of them. Then the other is like introverts, right? You're not going to, and then we got the ambiverts, <laughs> right? So we got to know their personality and we got to know our personality first. Right. Ooh, this is so important. We got to know our brand personality first well, in order to communicate nugget. the right personality through your body. So that you can have people saying, oh my God, I love that journey. It's like, oh my gosh, send me all the updates that you want. People will love to receive your updates. I have some people that will never get annoyed. And those are who you're looking for, right? You're raving fans. Mm -hmm. And when you are creating the messages, you got to be thinking about that person. That's what's going to make, you, make your bot successful or not. Are you a generalist or are you a specialist? Being a specialist will make you more money, will make you more impact, will make you more, more everything. 
That like you don't pay the same thing to a plastic surgeon than you do to a general surgeon, right? Right. Got it. It, and that happening. Same when you're, when you're building your business online, no matter what you're selling, no matter what your industry is, you have to specialize, right? With the message, inside the messaging too. Everything. It goes on everything. So you got to know yourself and your brand first. And before you go and create those messages. Mm. Okay. Cause if not, it's going to be tone deaf. It's going to like, you're not like, if you're somber and serious and why is your butt bubbly and crazy? Right? Right. right? No, make it somber and serious like you. Of course, give it another name, give it another personality. You cannot pretend that it's you. That's against the law. But um, you can absolutely make the vo your voice shine throughout the messages. Mm -hmm. And people are going to get to know you that way. That's like the best tip I can give you when it comes to creating the, the, me the best messenger bots out there. That is, that's a huge nugget. I... <laughs> You dropped a bomb. I mean, there's people like commenting all over right now. You got 25 <laughs> comments already. And uh, being a specialist, I hope people are listening to this. This is gold. Um, one of my partners, he said, uh, he literally said, uh, Anna is a ninja. <laughs> oh, Jelena's going to get upset, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so let's... Um, Let's 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 talk one more. We we got a little time for for maybe yeah. um, anyone out there that has a question for Anna. Go ahead and drop it in the chat. Just any question for Anna, and I'll try to get it to her. Um, but the one of the questions that I wanted to ask ask you is um, Tell me. this is a good one because it, yeah. in the last twelve months, how has messenger marketing changed dramatically? Ooh. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, um, marketers ruin everything. <laughs> Sorry, we have that reputation and it's so true. So what happened was that Messenger, um, three years ago when we started, it was like paradise. We could send messages all we wanted, whenever we wanted, but not really. There were rules, but we were not following them, okay? Mm. Everybody was, everybody, I cannot, I have screenshots of people, okay? Like, they cannot lie that they were not breaking the law. Everybody broke the law. <laughs> so, Facebook came with a hammer because they got sued. Guys, pay attention to the news, <laughs> okay? They got sued and they lost billions with a B. So, Facebook decided to remove the plus one follow-up that nobody was respecting for free. And they want money now for their messages. And you know what? They're a business. So don't whine about it. <laughs> because we have to invest in our business. And if you want to use their tools, you got to pay for it. So they still gave, they still, uh, they, there are a lot of ways for you to send messages for free. So what happened in the last 12 months is that instead of just using Messenger like email and just broadcasting and telling, 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 Basically, all the lazy marketers have to rethink everything because now we have to use strategy. We have to strategize how we're going to be using the messages because we only have 24 hours to communicate whatever we want to communicate for free. After that, we got to pay. So, and, and I think it's fair. You don't need more than 24 hours to close somebody. Come on, come on. If you need more than 24 hours to close somebody, then they're not ready and that's fine. You can nurture them with Facebook ads. You can nurture them with more content. You can nurture them with um, uh, freebies, mm -hmm. free courses, challenges, summit. Like not everybody's going to be ready. That's fine. But to close a sale, you only need less than 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So... When we use strategy, things change and they become policy proof. Mm. And that's the cool thing. But I think that in the past 12 months, all the changes were made 
and then COVID happened. Mm -hmm. And then what happened was that Facebook had to send 80, like a hundred percent of his, their employees to their houses because they're in California and in Ireland, everybody was shut down. Right. So the bots started, not the chat bots. There's different. Okay. I need to pause and make a tangent on here. There are different types of bots. There's a like hundreds types of bots. There's the artificial intelligence bots. There are the algorithm bots. There we got the, the chat bots that we create on Messenger. The SMS bots. And uh, the chat bots that are uh, for customer service, but people are behind them. So they're not really bots. It's just chat customer service. Right. So what happened was that the algorithm robots started shutting down business fan pages, business uh, Facebook ads, uh, chat bots, and everything that came close to like breaking a community standard. They were being super, super squared about it because there were no humans behind it. This is why we need humans, you see? We're not going anywhere, guys. It doesn't matter. We just have to up, up, our, up our skills and change what we were doing. Um, so um, in the tw in, since March of this year, we have to use strategies in order to get people into the bot. And we have the opportunity, since Facebook made Facebook Lives events, and I say it in, in quotations because we know a Facebook Live is just a video, but doing a Facebook Live for them, it's considered a live event. So some people ask me, Anna, can I send messages for people to join my Facebook Live? Yes, if you do it the right way. So the ones you had before, you can't. But the, the new ones that subscribe, yes. So now we have something called the one-time notification that we didn't have before. We can follow up after 24 hours with a one-time notification if the person subscribes to it, but we can only use it once and you can, you have 12 months to use it. But that message has to be exactly like the topic of that notification message. That's, that's super important. Like by basically the rules are a little bit more strict, but the bots are going to be more, they're going to be more powerful mm -hmm. because this is what Facebook wants. They want you to have genuine conversations with people. They want their brands to have the best experience. They always talk about community experience, right? They're community standards. So they want you to reply automatically. They even have their automation bot. They have their own bot, but they call manage at their partner because it's more flexible inside using the third party tool, right? Mm -hmm. So they want you to do it but they want you to do it the right way without ruining the experience for everybody because spamming ruins everybody's experience. It does. It does. It really does. So chatbots change, but for good. I know that sounds cliche because I'm obsessed with change and I like change. I think it's a, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a challenge. So, and I like challenges and I think that every change that we're going to get, because we're going to get more changes, Eric, I, I got to warn people, laws online are going to get interesting. Just watch. GDPR was approved in Europe already. It was recently approved in Brazil. So that only tells me that we are going to have to have those laws applied everywhere as well. And they're good law. They're complicated laws because we have to make sure that people accept and have consent. They have given consent for them to receive your stuff. And I think it's a great thing because you're not going to go to, you know, have a first date and abuse someone, right? right? And do something against their consent. It's the same way online. So basically they're, they're putting the, the, the line in the sand and saying, Hey, you've got to ask for consent every step of the way, every step of the way. And people will give you the consent because they want to know more about you. They want your solution. They're looking for you. 
So I think that I want to encourage everybody that even though that the rules are might get harder, um, if you use strategy and if you communicate with your leads the right way, that's policy proof. Right. No matter what they change. That's a home run. Strategy and 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 communication correctly is is is, yes. is, is what everybody wants in business, anyways. But right. to do it um, with a bot and to do it with a, uh, you know, automation. That that's 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 that totally changes the game. And I like what you talked it about how to kind of sift and sort through people. So, I didn't get any last questions. Do you got anything um, you want to um, add? to to the conversation is there anything we want to anywhere we want to maybe send them or if there's anything well right now um if you guys want to learn how to create a webinar chat bot flow i am teaching a five-day free challenge where you could go join um starting august 18 and they could go to webinar chatbot challenge.com okay and um, I'm going to teach how to do the registration flow, the reminder flow, the challenge flow, uh, not the challenge flow, the follow-up flow, sorry. So those three types of flows that you need in order to give the, the lead the best experience, get them the replays, uh, sell them the upsell that you have, you know, send them through your funnel. Um, and it's going to be free. So they better take advantage of it because my, I, I haven't told the Manny chat community yet. I don't know if they're going to kill me. <laughs> they're going to get upset because some people <laughs> charge like 5k for this kinds of bots. Yes. So I'm going to show you how to do them. Basically. So I'm actually going to, if you're interested in, in taking a look at that bot, if you're interested in taking the challenge, the five day challenge, hashtag bots in the, in the, um, in the comments. And I'll actually send you the information straight to straight from uh, Anna. So, like, if you're interested yeah. in doing a five-day bot for a webinar, some of you may may or may not need webinar. But if you need Maybe webinar, not. hashtag bots um, in the comments, and I'll get you that information because yeah. you know, it's all about it's all about you know give and take and abundance and you know Thank hey you. she's got a she's got she got some sick flows guys she's got some sick flows so I, you know. Yeah, it's going to be super fun. Look, I make technology fun uh, because I know how boring it is. <laughs> and um, I want to show them how to do this. And it's not just for webinars. It's also for live events. And if you have a, a, a half a day event, if you have a live coming up, those are events. Right. Okay. Right. It doesn't necessarily have to be a webinar. I just chose the word webinar because it was like the most popular. Right. But workshops, master classes, if you have a one day event, one summit, a day event, that too, right? Okay. I'm going to have Q&A so people can ask me questions. Okay. After the trainings, it's going to be fun. So guys, I see a lot Excited. of people hitting the, the bots. I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to do the summit too. So always be learning guys, always be learning. <laughs> so hashtag bots from Eric as well. I'll just put it in on the replay. But, yeah, um, just uh, webinar chatbotchallenge.com. All right, cool. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, thank you for having on. me. I mean, got. I mean, you came in. I don't know what time it is there, but it's uh, it's not super late here. It's only four forty my time. No, it's at six forty. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, all right. Well, thank you again. I look forward to this. I'll send you some info to get people um back in. Thank you so much. And I'm super excited to take that challenge. Thank you so much, Eric. It's been a blast. And um, thank you for to everybody. Nice to meet you. I'll All go right. answer the question. I'll, I'll, if they have any questions, they can, uh, they can comment below and I'll answer them as well. Okay, perfect. That works. Thanks, okay. Anna. Appreciate you. You're welcome. Thank you guys. I appreciate you too. Bye. All right, bye. Are you tired of those lame Facebook groups that provide no value? Well, our Facebook group is awesome. Go to unlockthefbgroup.com and get access to our Facebook group where you will be able to find 
interviews of top network marketers, and Q&As where you can jump in and talk to them live. We also have massive training. We provide a bunch of free tools. So jump into that group. Again, that's unlockthefbgroup.com. We'll ask you a few questions in mini chat because that's what we do. And make sure that you're not a spammer and get you into the group right away. So again, go to unlockthefbgroup.com and don't be a spammer.